Hi, I'm gonna tell you two things that I don't like about the EP Ever 2206 MPPT Solar Charge Controller. This is uh, EP Ever uh, Tracer 2206 AN 20 amps. It is connected to a 100 watt solar panel and a lithium 100 amps hour battery. This is the system, 100 watt solar panel, controller and the lithium battery. Let's start with the bad things. Uh, it is difficult uh, to see on the display. Uh, you need to uh, move it in an angle, let's say like 45 degrees, uh, for the best uh, performance of the uh, display. This thing is written also in the uh, user manual. There is a nice user manual where uh, you can uh, uh, read about all these settings. You don't need the, the Wi-Fi module or the Bluetooth module or the cable for the uh, Modbus communication uh, because uh, the main uh, Main things can be can be set from the uh, display buttons. I'm gonna show you how to set uh, some basic uh, things from the display, like uh, for example, uh, uh, you need to go to the voltage, uh, press for five seconds, enter. Then from here you can choose the battery type, it's select, in my case it will be this one, lithium, and uh, then you can go in the use option, push enter, and from here you can select the type of the battery. 12 volts in my case I can see the voltage from my uh, solar panel uh, this is the kilowatts hour that I harvest today 0.5 this uh, are this is the amps that uh, uh, the solar panel ha has now. Uh, this is the battery voltage and uh, this is the uh, amps that are uh, uh, flowing into the battery. Uh, one uh, interesting and nice thing uh, about the MPPT uh, controller is that uh, you you harvest uh, almost 99% uh, of the the energy into your battery while for example with a PMW uh, charger is not the case uh, I will show you this. As you can see from the solar panel it's 1.1 amps but in the battery it is 1.4 amps. So uh, the solar panel it's a uh, uh, 18 volts one and uh, the battery it's a 12 uh, volts so uh, the MPPT uh, technology knows to uh, maintain uh, the, the 
power received from the panel this is very nice the second thing that I don't like it's uh, the missing USB port I'm saying this because my uh, old uh, PWM uh, controller has two and uh, they were very useful this uh, one EP ever MPPT doesn't have it but uh, it's not such a big problem because I could attach one of these and uh, yeah I will have the USB outputs also a nice thing it is uh, this temperature module you know you can buy uh, the one with the probe at, uh, as an accessory uh, that it's useful for uh, lead acid batteries as I use uh, now a um, lithium battery I don't need that but uh, also it's nice to to see the temperature yeah, 21 degrees Celsius also because uh, this is useful uh, because the lithium battery has a limitation I cannot charge it under uh, zero degrees Celsius so it's useful uh, to see uh, what is the temperature in the room building uh, quality seems uh, good good enough okay this is uh, plastic but it doesn't look uh, very cheap and also I like this uh, big uh, area when the heat can dissipate also another nice thing uh, the connections are quite big another uh, detail there is a uh, this uh, thing here for grounding I think it's very nice 